Today's video is gonna be a little bit more than just a regular unboxing video. Usually the, the brand I buy from, I have only positive things to say about it. But this is not the case this time, so I wanna dive a little bit more into it. So, let's go! It all started a long time ago. Actually, it was like six months ago. I was looking to buy full print clothing items like this one I'm wearing right now with patterns and colors. The reason why is that I have a lot of, I would say, minimalistic clothing item. I like uh, Nordic style and tech wear, which is like really dark colors. It's not really flashy, poppy, not much of designer colors on it. And I wanted to balance a little bit my uh, collection. So I made a little bit of research online of which brands were um, offering full prints. And after that quick like Google search, every day I was opening Facebook ad, another ad for Aloha from Deer, the company we're gonna review today. Zuck. I decided that I should go particularly for this brand. I was literally spammed, I'm not joking. Just bim, 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 bim. What's Alora from Deer? It's a Polish company established in April 2012, as we can see here. Whoa, they really focus on just the full print. They have some of their own designs, I believe, but they borrow a lot from other artists. For example, the, the print that I love a lot, which is called Egvocado, that I bought from them is actually made by an artist called Costolom 3000, Russian artist, I think, I believe. And what's really funny is that when I was digging a little bit more from trying to find the origin of those prints, I found that she's selling the fabric by the yard. <laughs> so you can just buy the fabric and you can make what they do, just, I don't know, if you want to make pillowcases or whatever, you can buy the fabric yourself and, and use it, also wallpaper and stuff like this. So it's not that they don't just have like exclusive things, they work with artists or they uh, buy authorization to print some stuff like this. When you scroll through their website, you will see that they have an impressive collection. They have like almost 2,000 different items just for men. I was <laughs> just looking for men. That, that's a lot. That's a lot of prints. There's a lot of choice and that's really... A lot of them are really pretty cool. But here I started to pick up some, some little red flags here and there. First of all, if you go through the review, of course you have to go to an independent website that collects reviews because otherwise it's screwed, of course. And you will see that a lot of people complain about the delivery time. Which for me it's fine. Okay. I don't mind waiting, let's say, even two months for a specific item of clothing. I don't need to have it this like right now. It seems to be an issue for a lot of people that they have to wait a lot, but they tell you upfront in advance. So in the email when you order something, they will tell you, okay, it's gonna take some time. Alright. I'm fine with that. I don't think that you should like review bomb a company because it's in their policy to have a long delivery time. This I really don't mind. What I saw is that there were some uh, reviews that were like really pointing at some kind of problems. Like I have this one, for example, complaining about customer support. And what I see is that asking me to delete my review when he posted a bad review because he didn't get a refund. That's for me, it's back practices. I, I, I really don't like this uh, kind of behavior from a company. What was really a red flag for me is that some reviews were kind of hinting that the print was not always perfect, could be washed out, pixelated, sizing was off. And that makes me really scared to order something from a company like this. But the thing is that most reviews are actually pretty great. Most reviews are, are fine, except people complaining about the delivery. A review that I saw afterwards, which was pretty interesting, is from a local, it's a Polish brand, so that's someone from Poland, uh, saying do not buy, this is a scam, there is newspaper articles in Polish written about this malpractice, the fact that you order some stuff and you get it like two, mo three months later. Um, okay, I should have known that before, but for me, personally, I made two orders and they were fine. One took a month, the other one took a month and a half during the corona virus time. But they informed me when I ordered that the company is making masks, so I will have some delay. So I was fine with that. What I really don't like to see, however, 
is on the website. You see that everything is on sale, 50% off, and it's been like this for at least two to three months. Even the new arrivals are on sales. I don't even think it's legal to do that in Europe, to be honest. You can't have everything on sales all the time. The price for t-shirt is 50 bucks. Like it's 100% polyester t-shirts, <laughs> 50 bucks. The prints might be nice, but come on. They do that, that's like, it's worth 25 euros. Okay, that's what you, you pay for the, for the print, okay. But they put it at 50 and say it's 50% off, so you will be like, ah, oh, good deal, I should order. I believe it's illegal to do that in Europe. I really believe it and I think that they should have a look at it. You can't have items, new arrivals that are already on sale. What the fuck? <laughs> really? That's something I really dislike. That's really like a back practice. I ordered stuff before they started to, to do that. I, they were having like just few items on, on sales, like some classics. But now for the last like three, four months, everything has been on sales all the time. Which means that people who bought something before <laughs> were getting scammed if they paid the full price because that's not worth, uh, the hoodie is not worth like 60 bucks. Let's be honest. Come on. So despite the red flags, I was like, okay, let's go. Let's try it. Worst case scenario, we have some material for you to reveal. <laughs> Otherwise, I can maybe get some uh, few nice items and I wanted to make you know, a birthday gift, so I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna buy something for me, see the quality, if it's okay, I'm gonna buy it for a friend. That can make, like, pretty nice gifts. No, not a lot of people have full prints. I thought it would be cool, and that I would have, like, one or two items, like this one again, in my collection. Hey, the next segment will be the unboxing of the first three items I ordered from Aloha from Deer. I think it's a nice exercise what I'm doing now, because I have... You know, it took some time to think about what I ordered and I have more a cold head reaction because you're gonna see I'm a little bit of course excited about what I have and now taking this time to make this video and thinking about the products and stuff I have a little bit more things to criticize so I'm gonna see right after when we're gonna really talk about the product themselves all right so here is the, the package that we received. First of all, uh, they have their own branding on the, the package. It's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's open this. I'm really curious. First off, we're starting with the sweatpants. All right. <laughs> awesome. Okay, sweatpants, egg bocado. All right, we got, I'm gonna have a, a look at the textile quality and stuff uh, later. Uh, so we're just gonna open the three of them and then we're gonna have a closer look and we're gonna try them, of course. And now we have the, the sweater. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Damn. already uh-huh but okay we'll see damn that seems comfortable what I'm worried about is the color but it seems to be pretty much the same okay so that's that's good so we had the pins and now we have the sweater Last one, I went all crazy on this. I was like, let's get the most uh, opulent <laughs> things I can get. <laughs> so this one is the special one. It's the unicorns. Damn. All right, and we, now I'm gonna have a look at the, the quality a bit more in detail. From a first look, it looks pretty damn cool. Maybe a bit thin, I think. I thought they would be more massive uh, based on what you saw on the website, but hey, damn, that's, that's extra small. <laughs> that's extra small. All right, I, I'm happy I took the, the size. I think the size will be okay. We'll just check it out now. 
All right, so let's have a look at what we have here. So this is the small, okay. It's really soft. It looks pretty solid. I don't see any uh, default on the print for this one. Tag here from the brand. I'm gonna say it looks like pretty good quality. Really impressed. Uh, is this one at least. This one is so cool. I love him so much. <laughs> oh, look at him. It's so cute. What I noticed, I'm a bit mad about it. There's a burn mark here and well you don't see it when you're far but yeah so i'm a little bit disappointed uh, on that but otherwise the print is really good uh, it's not blurry or anything and now we have the sweatpants pretty good i don't see any Thing on the print, not on this one. Well, let's see on the other side. So I think we're gonna try it now. All right, let's start with the unicorn one. Uh, I took a small for one meter 80 as usual. It's perfect uh, for my arm length. From the top, I think it's pretty good fit. It feels pretty good. It's tight enough. I think I, I could have rocked a medium to be honest, but I really like this one. Mm -mm. All right, now we got the, the same, the avocado. This one looks pretty good as well, but it will be better with the pants, right? Always a little bit too long on the pants. This is extra small. Yeah, I feel like it's a medium for me, but yeah, most people won't have problem. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, everything feels comfortable. Uh, I would like to say the sweatpants are really minimalist. And the pockets the, uh, on the front here, that's, it's pretty simple. They could have been done better, I think, uh, especially the lacing here. Um, but other than that, I'm not gonna complain. I like it, I like it. The, the quality is good, the feeling is amazing. It feels really nice on the skin. All right, that was the unboxing. Now we can talk a little bit more about the product itself. I ordered some sweatpants, sweaters, and now this t-shirt. So I have like a better view of most of the products that they offer on the website. What I can tell you is that the fabric used for the sweatpants and the sweaters is really good. I washed it several times, it still holds up perfectly, no problems. The sizing of the sweatpants was off. Of course, the sweaters, it's okay. If you want to be really comfortable, order one size bigger than what you usually have. And I also have the t-shirt that I'm wearing right now, which is, you don't see really well the color because I have some color grading on my video, but the t-shirt is pretty much orange. And I really don't like that I can see my nipple through a t-shirt when it's orange, all right? When it's white, I can understand, all right? But it's like, it's really thin. I don't think it's gonna hold up very well. 
uh, over time it's 100 percent polyester they could really have doubled the thickness of this all right that's for t-shirt that's 25 euros i don't think that's really acceptable that's that's not cool even though the print is cool but it's not like they have exclusive design okay S that's something you can find online you can probably like the egg avocado you can find a way to get the, the fabric or to get the print you know so a bit disappointed overall if i have to like just make a little summary i ordered some sweatpants the sizing was off i ordered two sweaters one had a default on it like uh, a burn mark i ordered a t-shirt stitching is not really well well made and it's like far too thin so um, really only one item out of four i'm really satisfied with i mean the, the one with the burn mark that's unfortunate but i i still love it i really love the design they're really comfortable the, the fabric is holding up that's good so what could i say in the end just maybe just order sweaters only i guess that's that's a bit of a shame i think they could do better and i don't know if they have the opportunity to submit prints because i would love to submit them prints i have some good ones I can make some but I really would like to stop seeing this big sell 50% off for every freaking item over three months because this is don't think this is legal I really I, I'm really I'm sorry I'm sorry I don't think it's legal so would I recommend the brand nah I don't think so I would like to see other like suggestions of brand like just give me something it's really difficult to find some like awesome full print brands that delivers that make some really nice things like we see we, we seen on this website so that's if there's some alternatives that are reliable and that delivers quality product just hit me up please <laughs> i would like to have some <laughs> but uh, other than that no just nah. Nah.